Hi everybody, it's Andy here again with another of my instructional videos. This time it's all about how to create the exit button in your Color Keridigion student application spreadsheet for Unit 19. And this makes use of uh, ActiveX controls and a little bit of Visual Basic code. Uh, I've opened up a spreadsheet here from last year and you can see the exit button here. Fairly simple operation. You just click it and you get offered to close the spreadsheet or cancel like so. I'll choose cancel each time. If you choose OK, uh, the spreadsheet then closes. Uh, it's fairly simple to create. The first thing you need to have is something called the developer ribbon up here. You're going to need this. If you've got that, then you can skip this bit of the video um, about the next 30 seconds or so. If you haven't, you'll need to make that visible. And that's very simple. You just go to File, Options, let me try that again. File, Options. So here we have the Excel Options dialog box. Then you'll need to go down to Customize Ribbon, which allows you to choose the ribbons that you have uh, on your uh, uh, on the, um, the top part of your screen here. And you can see I've got Developer switched on. Um, if you haven't got Developer, then you'll need to tick that, that tick box there and click OK. OK, so if you've got the developer ribbon visible, you need to make that the active ribbon and then click Design Mode. And the first thing we're going to do is actually create the button, which when you click it, it offers uh, you the possibility of, uh, of closing the, uh, the spreadsheet or not. And you do that very simply like so. You just, next to the Design Mode button that we've just uh, click there to turn design mode on is an insert button which offers you form controls uh, for use in forms in the spreadsheet and active x controls it's uh, one of the active x controls that we need and it's the it's this one here it's just called a uh, an active x command button or active x control so click on that that allows you to draw your button like so Next thing you want to do is just make this uh, this text in the center of the button here, which currently says something very unfriendly, command button one. We just say, we want that to say exit. So what I'm going to do there is right click on the button and choose properties. And you get a, lot, a long list here of the properties of that button. The only thing you need to change, don't change anything at all apart from this one here, caption. Change that to exit. Don't be tempted to change name to exit because that will not change the text within the button. Only changing the caption option here will change the name of the button. So I'm changing that to exit. You see that appears in the button there. You can then close that window. So we've got the button there, but uh, at the moment it doesn't do anything. So we need to, uh, to actually make it with it. when we click the button, it offers us the option. A little window will pop up and, and offer us the option to either close or cancel. And you do that by changing the, the code behind the button. When we brought this command button in, this ActiveX uh, uh, command button, it had some, it's not just a, a text box there or, a, or a, a rectangle from the insert shapes uh, option in, in spreadsheets in Excel. It's something a lot more powerful than that. It's, al it's already got a bit of Visual Basic code behind it. At the moment, it's not doing anything. And the reason for that is if you double click the button there, the code appears, or I'll just do that uh, do that a bit quick there. If you double click on it, the code appears. Or you can go right right click on it and view code. It takes you to the same window. Double clicking is quicker. And you can see the code at the moment is just some very simple uh, basic type code, almost almost plain English, but not actually doing anything at all. So what we need to do there is to is to write some code in there to uh, to to perform the um, the operation that we want this button to perform, which is to offer us. Uh, first of all, a, a window saying, do you want to close or do you not want to close? And then when we click OK, it will actually close. Um, what, it, what you need to do there is go to the, the Padlet that goes with this uh, part of the, which is here. I've opened up the Padlet there. And scroll right the way down to the Other Useful Resources section where you've got the random gesture generator from earlier on and the, the application codes there that Aaron found for us and the postcode maps. And I've put in another window down here that just says code for the exit button and the code is already written for you we'll have to show you will have to show that you understand it but you don't actually have to write the code yourself 
And if I click on this, you can see the code there, which involves subroutines and end of subroutines and some, some if statements, which are a little bit similar to the if statements that spreadsheets actually use, but this is some visual basic here. And all you need to do is copy this into the box uh, where the code for the button is. And you do that very simply like this. You just click View Original, and a window opens with the uh, the basic the Visual Basic code in there a little bit um, larger. But more importantly, you can actually copy this now into the code for the button. So I'm going to skip back to the uh, the spreadsheet now and put the code in the button. So I've skipped back to the spreadsheet here now, and there's the code for our command button. I'm going to get rid of anything that's already there. Just highlight it there and press delete on the keyboard. And I paste in the new code. Like so, simple as that. And then close the window, which takes us back to our actual um, our home worksheet here. You then have to, to, it still won't work. All that happens if I double click it, as you get the, the code again, or if I single click it, nothing happens at all. And that is because the extra step you have to do if you remember earlier on we turned design mode on, we need to now turn it off and the button will now do what it's supposed to. The code will run when we click it rather than just opening the code. And there we go. Do you really want to close? I could click OK. I'll click Cancel. Test that again. That's definitely working there. So there, there's your exit button done. So I hope this video has helped you understand how to create the exit button with uh, an ActiveX uh, object. And a little bit of visual, a little bit of visual basic code. Uh, have a go ahead now and try it for yourself. Uh, and um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.